Okay, hi everybody. It's Wednesday, a dreary, cold, wet day, um, and I am here at a, uh, a little uh, meetup place just off the Highway 401 uh, to meet with uh, Wendy from the Uxbridge and Skugog Animal Control. And why is that? Because we are going to take this little sweet girl right here. There she is. Hello, sweetheart. I know, I don't mean to scare you, honey, but I just wanted to really get this exact moment so people experience it right along with us. This is the first time I'm meeting her. Hi, sweetheart. <laughs> we haven't quite come up with a name. I'm thinking Mrs. Beasley. <laughs> That's cute. Or maybe April, May, or I don't know. <laughs> She's so spring sweet. <laughs> a spring name, April, know. May. On a day like today, I don't know. Maybe it's stormy. <laughs> hey, sweetie. So she's um she was at the shelter. Wendy, did you want to take over from here what the story was on her? Um, she was found on the 14th of April with a yellow lab running loose on a side road. Right. And so we've had them for a couple of weeks and we've tried many different ways to locate an owner, but nobody seems to be missing either one of these dogs. Right. So she has a cataract and a tumor. Yeah, so we on see that. would be the best option. Oh, for her. well, thank you so much. And, and we really. Uh, are grateful for you to, to give us a call and this is what it's all about you guys um if you ever wonder about well what's what's the function of a shelter and what's the function of a rescue i mean we need to work together with these dogs um some dogs are highly adoptable and ready to go and the shelter is the best place for them to be uh, because so many people come into shelters looking for uh, their new family members but with um certain beagles or other dogs too any dogs um they, they need uh, the specialized care of a rescue, maybe because they're older and they're going to be overlooked at the shelter, maybe because there could be some concerning health problems. Uh, but that's where we come in. That's what we're all about. We're here for the underdog and uh, especially the under beagle. And, um, and we're here to help her. Now, I know our finances are pretty tight right now. Everybody out there, you know. Um, the expenses we've been through, the medical emergencies we've had this year already. Um, we were actually talking about holding off, taking any other dogs until we're back on top. But when I heard about this little girl and then I saw her face, there was no way I, I, could, I could ignore her need. Um, there was no other options for her. And I know you wouldn't want us to do that either. So that's what we're here for. So all the more reason why we need all of you out there to support our Beagle Wiggle Walkathon at Woofstock. I mean, it's really gonna matter this year more than any time before. And maybe I say that every year, but I really mean that. <laughs> so um, for now, I'm going to say Rover and out because I don't want this poor little girl to think that she's like being totally like uh, attacked by this camera. So um, I've got to get to meet her anyway, and I got to get her over to our vets for her vetting. So um, please keep her in your thoughts. We hope she's going to be okay and that tumor is nothing, and uh, we're going to take good care of her, I promise. Rover and out.